I need the Holy Spirit that dwells within you to correlate with the Holy Spirit that dwells within me so we can iron sharpen iron together. But if it's just me, what in the heck? What is, what is that? What's up, guys? Your girl is off of work, and I'm just sitting here chilling and talking to God. And as I was talking to God, I was just really just kind of reflecting on how um and maybe like others can relate to this that are disciples of christ or just you know you're a believer in jesus christ right and if you do have some level of like influence or impact in the world because that's what god called us to do to be the salt of the earth and literally like we are the light of the earth you know um we're called to be the salt of the earth and it just seems like it's such an oversaturated thing you know i guess for me y'all when um when god started telling me to make videos it was because things that i was talking to him about in private he was like it no longer needs to be private it needs to be public and it was an experience that I had went through with him and I didn't expect um, for any influence to even come my way, you know, because of the light of God within me. I had no idea, um, to be honest with you, it kind of caught me off guard and I was like, whoa, I was pretty shocked. But then I also saw how God's plan for this was so much bigger than me, like so much bigger than me. I'm like, I was just over here telling my story about how in one season I was a sugar baby struggling to just pay rent that I needed to give myself away just so that way I can make rent. You know what I mean? Especially living out on my own. And um, it's just so beautiful to see even where I'm at now in my life with Christ because I'm not fearful to speak about my testimony. I'm not fearful to um, talk about my testimony. Maybe someday I'll go in in depth on that, but... I'm just kind of reminiscing and I'm just thinking about like, you know, the moments of how all of this kind of came together. And like, even when, with the whole YouTube thing, like I used to always aspire to do YouTube. I used to always want to do YouTube. And I knew I had a passion for editing, um, but I never knew my life with Christ would be the one thing that God wanted to show. You know, I, I just did not know that. Um, and so I think sometimes with the camera, you know, it's like you really have to, you're capturing moments of what your life with Christ looks like. And I came to the conclusion as I was speaking to God that I really don't want my moments with Christ to always be on camera. You know, like I was like, God, I don't want it to be a routine when me and you commune together when I press record. I am learning that, you know, God also desires that level of intimacy with me. And before I can like show you a routine of what is my routine, I have to get down, pack my routine of intimacy with God. I can't just like, you know, like, do y'all get what I'm saying? You know how some people like make like the little Christian videos and they'll make the Christian videos, Christian girl style or whatever the case may be. And I'm not saying that they're not living that out, but for some, it could be something that they're just now implementing into their routine. And then they'll like, you know, do like the devotionals in the morning. And my y'all, we have to like prop up this camera. We got to set it up in angles and different stuff. It's so much stuff required to do what this is. Like it's so much. And you know, you have to prop up the camera. You got to, you know, press the record. You got to make sure that you're in 4K. You have so many more things. And like, just as the influencer, you know, the influencer, the person that's the content creator on the other end of the spectrum, they're the ones that are trying to make sure that they get that perfect view for the viewer, you know, and also capturing the moment that would be making you feel as though you're there or something that you would correlate with or something that is relatable 
and it's just so much that goes into it and when you think about it y'all especially for us as believers when you are capturing all of those moments you're no longer in the moment you're no longer in the moment like you're legit no longer in the moment um you went from devotional to like press and record then try to hop back in devotional and show like you know you reading the devotional like there's no way you could be zoomed back into that moment unless you record that whole entire time now if you record that whole entire time that's completely different but like you just have to put that into thought process like there's a moment that you're in it and there's a moment that you're not you know and so for me i was like god i really just don't want it to be like that for me I don't want it to be like that. I would prefer to only come on here and post on here when you tell me to post. Like, I don't think that spending time with Jesus here needs to even be on the schedule. I do. We, are we going to be consistent? Yeah, we'll be consistent because God is telling me to be consistent. But like, I just don't think y'all that I should stick to what I see, you know? And I don't think God wants that for me either. Like, I think because even with my TikTok, you guys, that God has graced me to have, I literally don't go live unless the Holy Spirit tells me. Like, I will not go live. Because if Jesus is not backing up this Bible study, what what, what, what am I going to say? What do I have to say? If Jesus is not backing up this Bible study and it's just Ashley talking, boo. Like, respectfully. Because, like... I need the Holy Spirit that dwells within you to correlate with the Holy Spirit that dwells within me so we can iron sharpen iron together. But if it's just me, what in the heck? What is, what is that? Like, you know what I mean? There's no poor if it's just me. There's no poor. And what I mean by that is the Bible specifically literally says that there is out of our belly flows living water. That's the Holy Spirit. So if the Holy Spirit is not backing up everything that he has told me to give on that Bible study, on that TikTok live, then I'm just giving what I have to give. And what I have to give will always fail because of sin, because of, because of our flesh. You know what I mean? So I just really came to the conclusion, y'all, that I'm literally only going to post when God tells me. And I actually love that because it's just so much more freedom in that because it's no longer just you are trying to, you got to make sure you're on this routine. You got to make sure you post this time. You got to make, and don't get me wrong. Like I understand like analytics and stuff like that, but y'all analytics is just not my God. Analytics, analytics is not my God. Analytics is not my God. View counts is not my God, you know? Whoever God ordains to listen to these messages will literally be because the Holy Spirit led them here. Literally. Because they'll see like, wow, like she literally only posts when God tell her to post, which makes it even more like receivable. Because even like the people of God that follow me on TikTok, y'all, when I tell you, whenever God have me go live, we get fed. We get fed. Not me, but we as a collective. We get fed. We eat real daily bread. Like, it's just so rich. It's so good. And I'm so grateful I came to that conclusion. Because now it's not a struggle for me to have to be like, oh, this needs to be content day. This needs, because y'all, I'm not an influencer. I'm just so not an influencer. I am a disciple of Christ. <laughs> I love Jesus. And that's just that. I know that sounds so cliche. You're not an influencer, but you're on YouTube. Because Jesus told me to get on YouTube. Jesus said, cast your net again. And I was like, but I don't want to. But he was like, do it again. I'm like, why? Trust me. Okay. So I cast it. And then I started to see fish. And I was like, whoa. I didn't know you was going to do it like this. And the Holy Spirit is like, you think what I'm doing now is fish? So I'm just being obedient. 
I'm just being obedient, y'all. I'm literally just not winging it, but I'm just being obedient. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah. I just love that this is just totally his. And it's so not mine. Because if I'm being honest, y'all, if it was mine, I would be like, God, we got to be on a schedule. We got to make sure we post every Sunday. We got to make sure this, this, that, and the third. And God is like, listen, when I told you that you do spend the time with you, first off, Ashley, I told you to change your name. I told you to erase your name off of it. Because it used to be Ashley Love or something like that. And he told me to take my name off of this YouTube channel and put spending time with Jesus. The moment that it was placed on there, God was like, I'm in control of this whole entire channel. This whole thing. You're going to have to give me all the control. Meaning when you post, if you post, when and how you post, that's going to all need to be under my control. Literally. Because it's going to be me that they see. It's not going to be you, Ashley. It's going to be me. The God in you, it's what they're going to see. The God in you is who they're going to listen to. The God in you is what's going to pull their spirit based on my spirit. Come on, let me say that again. The God in you is what's going to pull their spirit based on my spirit that dwells within you. So it doesn't matter if you post Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because what they're going to see, when they're going to see it, however, whenever, is going to be received because of my spirit. It's not by works. It's not by might. It's not by anything else but my spirit. So be content. <laughs> content. Oh my goodness. I love God. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all, something just dawned on me. I just received this in the spirit just now. And I don't know if this is going to make it in the vlog. But I can literally hear the Holy Spirit tell me, even when it comes to brand deals that are going to want to work with you, they're going to respect the fact that you're going to release videos based on when God tells you to release. Because some of these brands will be God-ordained brands. That's wild. I know that sounds crazy. But you gotta remember that our thoughts is not his thoughts. And our ways are not his ways. So anything that God tells you to do that sounds absolutely out of this world, do it. Well, this was late night chats at 2.26 a.m. on December, no, not December. My gosh, I'm a month away. Um, on January 16th. Micah, if you are watching this, happy birthday. That's my cousin, y'all. She be tapped in, child. She be watching everything that I post. That's probably my number one supporter outside of Jesus Christ. But um, if you're watching this, happy birthday. I love you so much. Mwah. First and foremost, I just want to give a major shout out to God and just seeing his faithfulness and just how good he has been. Um, I am so not worthy of it, y'all. That's number one, numero uno. I am not worthy of what God has done. It's his grace that is truly sufficient. And I really wanna give him all glory and praise because just in a short span of time, I'm seeing why he told me to say yes to this again. And I just have to say thank you, Jesus, because the amount of love, the amount of, you know, just on time, divine timing um, that has taken place here is just simply nothing but the Holy Ghost. And... The amount of love that you guys gave on that last video I posted, if you haven't checked it out, I highly suggest checking out that last video. Um, it is very 
very, very important to know like how to properly fast. And we learned together on that last video. And just in general, that video carried an anointing with it. Like every video I've learned by the Spirit of God will have an anointing on it. Literally, y'all. <laughs> Literally. So, <laughs> but I just wanted to really, 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 really tell you guys, thank you for your obedience to God. You know, thank you for your obedience to what Jesus is doing here. Thank you for actually adhering to the Holy Spirit and stopping and being like, what is this video about? Listening to what the Spirit of God is saying, actually being present while being in his presence, you know? So I just want to really just say thank y'all so much for just adhering to God's voice. It's not about me. It's about the God who lives within me by the Spirit of God. Amen. So I love you guys. I thank you so much. And I pray that this blesses you as well. I was led by God to do prayer today on spending time with Jesus on TikTok. Y'all, these lives are just literally God ordained um, and sent for an assignment that the Spirit of God tells me to do. We literally have less than about a second or so to hop on because I'm going to hop on at two o'clock. I highly suggest if you would like to be a part of these lives in the moment where the actual um, prayer is taking place and where the Spirit of God is actually moving. Now, please know God is not confined to a moment. So that's why he has me record these moments because he's not confined to that moment. So the same kind of level of anointing that's here is the same grace that's there. Amen. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of introduction so that way y'all can kind of know what's going on before we go live today. And yeah, I pray that this is a blessing for you guys. Let's go ahead and get into prayer. Before we get into prayer, I highly, highly recommend you guys praying yourself, asking the Holy Ghost to reveal to you what he needs you to hear, asking the Holy Ghost to really just saturate your atmosphere wherever you are so that way you can have an inclined ear to his voice, amen? Without further ado, let's get into spending time with Jesus. chapter 4 and um, verse 6 through 8. New King James Version is what I'm reading from. Um, this is really where our prayer is going to be firm foundation in. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. In the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Father God, I thank you for this moment. God, I thank you for the revelations that will unfold. Holy Spirit, I pray right now that even now, God, under the sound of my voice, that your peace that exceeds all understanding will rest on every single person that is in this life. God, I pray whatever it is that they're worried about, whatever it is that they are, are troubled about, even things that they're troubled about in their mind and it's making it hard for them to rest at night, God, I pray that you will bring peace unto them. God, I pray that we would not go based on what we see, but what we know, what we know to be true in your word, God. Your word says to walk by faith and not by sight, God. Walk by faith and not by sight. Help us to be led by our faith. In order for us to have faith, we have to have hope. So Holy Spirit, renew our hope in you. In the name of Jesus on today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love how it says, let your request be made known. Meaning during your prayer, you need to also make sure you let your requests be made known. Many of us are just thanking God for the now, but not thanking him for what we need and asking him for what we need. My God, help us, Holy Spirit. I was speaking to one of my beautiful friends the other day, and we were just talking about how we're always just so quick to say, God, I thank you just for what I have. If you didn't do nothing else. And I know I've heard this before, even from people in our church and people even probably growing up, you heard your family members say this, they believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, if you didn't do nothing else for me, you've done enough. And that is true. If God didn't do anything else for you, he has done enough. But the fact is that God has called you to an abundant life. He does desire for you to want the promise. Come on now. 
He desires for you to want the promise. He desires for you to want the and have the desire. As a matter of fact, thank you, Holy Spirit. He placed the desire there for you to continuously want and desire the blessing. Come on, Holy Ghost. Ah, oh, help me. So it says here, be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. In the peace of God, meaning after the request, there is a peace that's supposed to pass all understanding that rests on you after that request. After you've made the request for whatever that is, whatever you're believing God for, whatever you have the faith to, to believe God for, you're supposed to let go, let God, and live in his peace from that moment on. Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. But the problem that we're having is that once we make that request made known, we practically skip verse 7. Come on now. Come on now, Holy Ghost. We skip verse 7. Oh, I know I have. I know I have. Where, I, where the Bible says, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. We'll let our requests be made known to God. We'll tell God what we need. God, I just need you to do this. God, I need you to do that. Father, I need you to heal my child that's sick. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And we'll leave it at that. We'll let it rest right there. My God. Come on, Holy Spirit. And we'll skip verse 7. This says, in the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. But do you know for the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In order for that peace that surpasses all understanding, you have to trust in that peace to surpass all understanding. You have to have a trust that God, I trust that when I make this request made known, that it's going to come to pass. I trust that because I prayed and I intercede with the Holy Spirit, that it's going to come to pass. My God, I had to have faith. Come on, the woman with the issue of blood had to have faith. The Lord said that your faith has made you well. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has secured that job. Your faith has healed you. Come on now. Your faith has healed you. My God, come on now. Come on now. Many of us skip verse 7. And so we walk around with no peace. But then we end up becoming angry with God because we've made our requests known and we like, where are you? And God is like, you skipped out on my peace. You skipped out on my peace. It's peace that I give to you. My God, come on, Holy Spirit. It's peace that I give to you, not as the world gives it. Oh God, I feel the spirit of God on this. Not as the world gives it. Not as the world gives it. And you skipped out on verse 7 and you left that prayer right where it was, but it wasn't complete. There's a peace that's supposed to rest on you after you made your request known in prayer. My God. This is so good, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Jesus, for your peace. How do you get the peace? You trust that your request that was made known has already come to play. My God, there's so many different things that God is telling us that we have to do before the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, that will guard your hearts, guard your mind through Christ Jesus. Because when you put on the peace of God, you put on the full armor of God. My God, come on, Holy Ghost. It says here, we'll guard your hearts. What is guarding your heart? What's guarding your heart? The breastplate of righteousness. What's guarding? Come on. Oh my goodness, Holy Spirit. You better, you better speak. You better speak. You better just give me this word. Come on. Oh my goodness. I gotta wash this back. This is so good, God. I'm literally getting chills. What in the world? Wait a minute. In the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Meaning once you get done with that prayer, once you have let your request be made known to God about the things that are troubling you, it is through Christ Jesus that you get up in that peace. And it's through Christ Jesus that you let that go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Many of us are carrying requests on and on 
and on and on. And if you don't know, the word of God says, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden, for I will give you rest. Meaning you have to bring that burden to him and leave that burden with him. A request can become a burden if you continue to carry the request. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. This is good. Let this request go. Let it go in that prayer. And do not get up in your own strength, but through Christ Jesus. Listen, y'all. It's not, it's not up to us. To be able to do these things that surpass all understanding, it's through Christ Jesus. So meaning, once you make that prayer and supplication known, if you're not getting up through his strength in your weakness, because let's be clear, it's a weakness. It's a weak, come on Holy Spirit, it's a weakness. It's a weakness. It was a weakness from the beginning. So when you started that prayer, when you interceded, Father God, I need you to take care of my child. They're dealing with this sickness. Or God, I need you to bring forth a job. I was fired. Da, 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 whatever that is for you. It was a weakness point. My God. Because if it wasn't, you wouldn't be coming to God. My God. And my word says, and my heavenly father spoke this thing and said it so profoundly that in your weakness, my strength is made strong. Meaning in this moment, when you deliver that to him, his strength is what will get you back up to stand again. My God, Ooh. don't leave that space, his presence, without his strength. Come on, Holy Spirit. God, we need your strength. God, we need your strength. God, I need your strength. God, I need your strength for this job. God, I need your strength for my mind that is uneasy. God, I need your strength for this healing. God, I need your strength for this financial breakthrough. God, I need your strength. God, I need your strength. Hallelujah. I am weak, but in your strength, I'm made strong. So this anxiety, I leave it here. This anxiety, I leave it here at the cross as I am on my knees and praying. These suicidal thoughts, I leave it here at the cross as I am on my knees and praying. These, these moments of worry, I leave it here at the cross as I am on my knees and praying. This moment of how it's going to get paid, how it's going to get taken care of, what is it going to look like in the future. The moments of worry, and if we're just keeping it a stack, y'all, a lot of our worry is built in trying to have control over something we never had control over. My God, come on, Holy Spirit. A lot of our worry comes from us worried about the future. Because we desire to know how is the outcome? What is the outcome? What will this look like? What is this going to look like, Jesus? You showed me in visions, in dreams. Come on, Holy Spirit, who are you speaking to? You showed me in visions, in dreams, what would come to pass. But what is the end? I feel the Spirit of God. And because of the fact, y'all, that this is a partnership with the Lord, we must remember that God said, for I know the plans. My God, I have for you plans to prosper you, plans to give you a hope and a future. It is me who knows. It's not up to you to know. I'm the one that knows the future. It's not up to you. It's up to you to trust me for what I have spoken to thee. Oh my God. Oh, oh help me, Holy Ghost. This is a word for myself. Oh God, this is a word for my soul. Mm. Mm. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. It's up to 
you to trust me for the vision that I gave to you. It's up to you to trust me for the dream that I've given to you. It's up to you to trust me for the prophesy that I prophesied over your life. It's up to you to trust me. It's up to you to trust me. It's not up to you to know the future. That's my spot. That's my space. That's where you let dad be dad. My God, come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. That's where you let dad be dad. Oh my Jesus. The Bible says have childlike faith. This is where I need you to actually have faith for what I've spoken to you. When you trust in God about what he has spoken to you, after that prayer, that's when you get up through Christ. Because the trusting portion is what helped you push through Christ. Because see, in the spirit, there's something that's changing. There's something that's breaking off of you. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. There's something that broke off of you. It's through Christ. It's through Christ. Like a woman that's giving birth, it's through. It's through Christ. Oh God, you better hear what the Spirit of God is saying. It's through. Hey, you had to make it through Christ. Trust. When a baby is born, they don't have worry. They don't wonder if they're going to make it through the womb. They simply trust the process. They adhere to the process. They continue growing through the process. My God. Child like faith. Wow. Holy Spirit, you did your big one on this. I'm getting specific instructions from the Holy Spirit right now. I'm getting specific instructions. And I urge you not to take this lightly. The Spirit of God says some of you guys are at work right now and he wants you to go to a sacred place. I don't care if you got to say you're going to the restroom right quick. If you have to hop off of this live, that's fine. Do your thing, baby. It's between you and God. Some of you are at work right now. And the Spirit of God desires for you to take a moment. If you have to go into restroom and to make your request made known to God. And to, through Christ, after that is done, walk in the peace of God that surpasses all the understanding that will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. And this is not something to be taken lightly. Oh, God, this is not something to be taken lightly. God pays attention to your obedience. So whatever you need to do, adhere to the voice of the Lord. And for those of us that are on here that are able to be present, God desires for you in this moment to make your request made known. Make your request made known. Surrender, meaning to actually get on your knees, pray, and make this request made known. If you need to hop off this live, hop off this live. This is between you and God. And stay in that presence until the peace that rests upon you that is of God, that which surpasses all understanding, rests upon you to where you are able to get up through Christ Jesus. Through Christ Jesus. Remember, you have to have trust for peace to be resting on you. You have to have trust. You have to have trust in God. So, Father God, even now, I thank you, Jesus, for every single person that's on this live. God, I thank you for the request that will be made known in this moment. Holy Spirit, touch that request with your spirit touch that request with your spirit god 
we partner with you, Holy Spirit, in this prayer. For you intercede on our behalf, God. So we partner with you, Holy Spirit, doing this request. And we ask, God, that all things that are being made known to your, to the Heavenly Father through your children by the power of the Holy Spirit, God, that your presence will rest upon them. That your presence will rest upon them. That your presence will rest upon them so heavily that even God, as they go throughout their day, it will be an angelic presence that will rest upon them in the name of Jesus. God, I declare and I decree as a sovereign child of the Most High King, God, that angels will be encamped around them, God. That there will be a presence of the Lord that is literally resting upon them. That you will shield them, God, with their heart. That you will shield them with their mind, Holy Spirit. That their mind will be renewed from their way of thinking, God, even as they're making their requests made known to you now, God. May you touch them, Holy Spirit, with your righteousness. May you touch them, Holy Spirit, with your power. May you touch them, Holy Spirit, with your healing. May you seep through, God. May you see Adabake, Rashitabake, Robo Shitabake. God, I thank you that you are not limited to a location. God, I thank you that you're not limited to where they are. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will locate them like a GPS. And that you will meet them right where they are. God, I pray that your angels will lift up a strong standard against the enemy's plot to try to kill, steal, and devour. And I declare and decree that the angels of the Lord will arrest that principality that try to take away their peace, that try to come for their rest in the name of Jesus. God, I declare and decree right now that peace is their portion for every single soul that is on this live and every single soul that is on this YouTube channel, that peace is their portion in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree it, God, that the Holy Spirit will fill them up. If they don't know you, Holy Ghost, may they come to know you, God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that they will walk in their authority. How will they walk in their authority? Because they will be filled by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that every single person on this life will walk in power, will walk in grace, will walk in mercy in the name of Jesus. God, I pray right now, God, for you to do the new thing that your word says that you do. God, I pray that even now, God, that those that do not trust you, Holy Spirit, may you help us to trust the plan of our Father. Ooh. The plan that was already initiated before we even touched the face of the earth. Help us to surrender to the plan of our Heavenly Father and give us the strength in our weakness to walk like you, talk like you, live through you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break every stronghold in the name of Jesus. May the peace that exceed all understanding rest on them all the days of their life. In the name of Jesus. Satan, get thee behind them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God, I thank you that I put my trust in you. God, I thank you that I lean not into my own understanding. God, I thank you. God, I thank you that greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. God, I thank you that it is already done. God, I thank you that I have the faith of a mustard seed to see it through. Adabake, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, let the mind of God be in us. Adabake, in the name of Jesus. Let the mind of God be in us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. I'm going to close. But I hear the spirit of God saying, don't leave his presence until you get up through Christ. I hear the spirit of God saying, do not leave his presence until you get up through Christ. So even though this life is being ended, stay in his presence until you get up through Christ. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you. And Jesus loves you so much more. Jesus loves you so much more. Once again, adhere to the voice of the Lord. Stay in his presence. Do not leave his presence. It's more than just what meets the eye, y'all. This is spiritual. Until you get up through Christ. Until you get up through Christ. Until you get up through Christ. It's by the power of God that healing has taken place today. It's not by my might. It's by his spirit. It's by his spirit. There is a heaviness of peace that is resting, y'all. There's a heaviness of peace that is resting from God, literally. God bless you first time here, not the last. Oh, I'm so happy you're here, sis. Praise be to God. I love that God spoke. My God, my God. Come on, Heather. Yes, he did. The Holy Spirit is rich and full of joy. Amen. If you do not know Jesus and you desire to know Jesus, this is the time. This is the day. If you don't know him and you desire to welcome him into your heart, you can make this personal between you and God. Literally, all you have to utter are these words. God, I am a sinner saved by your grace. Repeat after me. Father, I desire to serve you and only you. I believe that your son came on the third day. He rose again from conquering death, hell, and the grave. And by your spirit, God, salvation is mine. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I repent and I turn from my ways. I receive you into my heart. This peace that came over me today, I know it's not of anything else but your son, Jesus Christ. Father, fill me with your spirit that I may be able to experience and encounter your richness and your fullness of joy on a daily in the name of Jesus. I need you to know if you prayed that prayer, baby, heaven is going up. Heaven is rejoicing. Every single person that literally lays down and surrenders to what God has desired to happen from when you were in birth, <laughs> heaven rejoices because it's more than just what meets the eye. It's more than what you see physically taking place. Yes, you uttered this with your words, but spiritually, your eternity has literally welcomed you. My God, come on, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. Your eternity has welcomed you. The Bible says that this is but a vapor that we're here. This is but a vapor. So someday Ashley won't be here. Someday Drea. Someday many of us. But our eternity awaits us. Amen. Our eternity in Christ. Heaven awaits our welcoming. Amen. By the grace and mercies of his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Be blessed. And may the Lord keep you in his perfect peace. One more thing, if you do subscribe to the channel, if you're led to subscribe to the channel, please always pray before watching these videos. Because these videos are literally, y'all, even the comments, I've seen people say the Holy Spirit led them to these videos. I can't make this up. Like, I cannot make this up. I'm just being obedient and posting what he tells me to post. So, like, please. Ugh, I'm even getting chill bumps even saying this. Please, please, I urge you, pray before watching to receive what God wants you to receive. Amen? Amen. All right, I love you guys, and have a blessed and amazing day. Jesus loves you so much more, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I could cry, but I'm going to hold back tears. And I'm actually going to rewatch this myself. I'm probably going to cry when I rewatch this myself because it's the Spirit of God. <sighs> so, I love you. Jesus loves you so much more. And I'll see you guys next time.
and spending time with Jesus. Mellow the day.